Mustafa, and that is Mustafa Davis, by the way, and I'm Amir Suleiman. Mecca openings in general is just really an anomaly. I mean, it's, I mean, what you call this type of music, God knows. Because it's like, some some stuff on there you could say is hip hop, I'm straight rapping. Some stuff is spoken word-ish, where I'm, I'm not on, I'm not riding the beat, but you know, kind of talking over the beat. And then some songs blur the line. And then so, this song, I'm just straight like singing, actually. You even have you some songs where you're, you're not on it. Yeah, it's there's one song on the album that I'm not even, there's no vocals on the song, you know what I'm saying? So, like the openings is kind of, you know, it's kind of cinematic. Like Mikhail, the producer, Mikhail Suleiman, my brother, the music that he created for it was kind of, it was like this. Everyone that heard the album was always like, it sounds like a soundtrack to a film that's already done, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So the imagery, the, the sound, and, and then lyrically, it's, it's so rich with images. And then so to actually apply actual images to it seemed only right, you know? The video required a lot even from me as an artist and it required a lot for him, from him as a director and a lot from the DP even mm -hmm. to, technically to get all the shots. And so, you know, we just needed the space to be real, you know what I mean? Real cool, you know what I'm saying? For cool. it to, yeah, right. Real cool. <laughs> real cool, right. For it to be, you know, for it to work right. So inshallah, this is just one of, you know, quite a, quite a few. He was saying, because he started off as an editor before a director, right? Mm -hmm. So when he's shooting, he's knowing exactly what he wants, because he's thinking like an editor. So I need this shot. So the shooting experience was very, and it was good because the, the shooting experience for myself was so intense that it was good that he knew exactly what he wanted. So we could just go down the shot list, like, I need this shot, this shot, this angle, this angle. Amir's different because Amir knows exactly what, what he wants, right? right? Like even the lighting, right? So when he came, we spent another hour and a half two hours to change the lighting because he wanted it the way it was you know the, the day before mm -hmm. that we came. so he knows what he's he knows exactly what he's looking for and that's that's easier because then you just you're interpreting his vision mm -hmm. rather than having to come up with the vision for him like when i did my first one or two takes i want to look at it like i'm like let me see it because i don't know how i'm doing you know right. what i'm saying because kind of it's a different type of thing it's requiring a lot of me he was like no i can't look at it i'm like what you mean i can't look at it he's like nah I, you don't look at it at all so i'm doing the whole thing i haven't seen anything the shot the shoots over everything i can't wait to see just a few <laughs> images from the video but he was like you know <coughs> if i show you i didn't want him to take i didn't want to take him out of because he like I had to be in like character. Really, really. Yeah, you yeah. can't say much without giving. Like he had to be in character for the shoot, right. and then I didn't want him to look at it and then compare to what he did before. Right. Either it'll, overdo it'll, it'll, it or get or frustrated, it. or yeah, you yeah, know, it would I mean? take him out of it. So he, yeah. he wanted to look at it. Yeah. We were actually looking at it and not letting him see it. Yeah. <laughs> so it required a certain level of trust that I'm creating art that I can't like fully, you know. I, it's not it's not just my thing, you know. So. I mean, if it was me, then I would direct the video, but I can't direct. So, that, I mean, that's why I have a director. So I have to trust his direction. I have to, you know, so it was like, a, um, it's, it's a big trust thing. But once, once we got in front of uh, the machine the next day, today, once we got in front of it and started looking at it, it looks just absurdly good. <laughs> it's so beautiful, man. Alhamdulillah. It's so beautiful. So it's only making me more excited. And I think it's only going to create even a better rhythm between here and I. So, I mean, and, and the thing is, every, whether it's a performance video, whether it's a narrative or whatever, we're just always just seeking, like, just to push the envelope. So every, every time we're just wanting to make it something new and different and something that no one's seen before or thought of before, you know, and do it beautifully, exquisitely, you know, excellently, you know what I'm saying? So, so when are we going to see the video? June 1st. June 1st. It is premiering June 1st. So stay tuned, June 1st, 2009. The premiere of Dunya, Mustafa Davis, Amir Suleiman, Mecca openings. It's gonna be very exciting.